In the summer of 1992, soon after I'd moved back to New York from Washington, I saw a theater piece called Fires in the Mirror. It was about the troubles that had occurred a year earlier in Crown Heights in Brooklyn. Troubles ignited by the violent deaths of Gavin Cato, a seven-year-old child from Guyana, and Yankel Rosenbaum, a 29-year-old Jewish student from Australia. It was a terrible, searing episode in the history of New York, an episode whose wounds have yet to heal fully. Now, Fires in the, in the Mirror had a cast of 26 characters, an incredible variety of characters, all ages, all races, all backgrounds, all temperaments. And every single one of them was a real person with a real name who had really spoken the words that stunned and startled and moved all of us in the audience. Those 26 characters were all played by one actor, and their words had been spoken to one interviewer, and the play had been conceived and realized by one dramatist, and that one actor, an interviewer, and dramatist was Anna Devere Smith. None of us had seen anything like it, because there is and was nothing like it. Nothing, that is, except the works that she herself has created. Works like Twilight, examining Los Angeles in the aftermath of the Rodney King beatings. Like the Arizona Project, about women in the, in the legal and judicial system. And like last year's Notes from the Field, which dives deep into the education system in her hometown of Baltimore, and is part of what she calls the Pipeline Project. That pipeline being the one that takes too many young men of color from school to prison. Anna didn't have to do any of this, by the way. She's an accomplished actress in mainstream movies like Philadelphia and Rachel Getting Married and TV series like The West Wing and Blackish. And if that were all she had ever done, she would have contributed more than her share to the happiness of her fellow creatures. But she has aimed higher and dug deeper and worked harder and explored more bravely. This is a prize for courage. And, there, and courage is a quality, a quality of mind and soul and heart that Anna Devere Smith has in abundance. There's courage as well as audacity in her invention and perfection of a new form of theater, a one-person show in which that one person transforms herself into a succession of persons, speaking their words and their voices with their emotions, and in finding their voices, she finds her own. There's courage as well as conscience in her choice of the issues she tackles, issues like poverty and racial discrimination and police violence and mass incarceration. And there is courage as well as empathy in the way she embraces the humanity of her characters, all of them, and in the way she respects and honors their lived experience, whether she agrees with them or not, and in the way she refuses to judge, yet leaves no doubt about her own moral perspective. Finally, there is courage in insisting on truth. During the present emergency, when the very concept of truth is under sustained attack, insisting on truth is an act of resistance. It's my honor to present the Ridenour Courage Prize to Anna Devere Smith. <laughs> 